Hello Facebook, YouTube, how y'all doing? Today I want to talk to you about the uh, idea of, because everybody, you know, got this thing about, you know, uh, hypocrite, you know. I'm here and say, oh, if you say that you, you know, love God and, you know, sin, you know, you're a hypocrite, you know. Everybody using that hypocrite, hypocrite, hypocrite. But it's important to understand the dynamics that I see people don't try to do to what it's really saying, you know. But first, you got to understand who Jesus called hypocrites. Did, you know, he, he called hypocrites mainly the scribes and Pharisees, teachers of the Word of God. These are teachers of of the word of God you know what I'm saying they're not now but we like to call you know people a hypocrite you know what I'm saying that is not a teacher of the word of God you know like you know I hear sinners say you know if I you know uh, say you know if I sh share the word of God you know and continue sinning then I'm a hypocrite wait a minute no you're, that doesn't make you a hypocrite, but are you a certified teacher? Or, or I mean, have you became a pastor, uh, became part of the fivefold ministry? No. Well, th therefore, that won't make you a hypocrite. You have to be a part of at least the ideal of the fivefold ministry, you know what I'm saying, to become a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? If you are a Christian and you're just sharing the word of God, with what was been given to you and sharing that and yes you sin all sin fall short you know and do that that doesn't make you a hypocrite you know what I'm saying it's for the teachers you know that that has learned the law you know of God learned the word of God and if they you know speak the law of God and live contrary to that that's what make them hypocrites only a minister or a, a preacher, you know, can truly become a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? Not somebody that, you know, are going. if you're going to church and you're learning how to become a Christian and you're sharing the word of God, you know, with people, you know, what's been taught to you and fellowshipping the word of God. And, 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 and if you sin, but all will sin. Let's get me straight. Let me get everybody, you know, all will sin and come short and how they will repent and continue to follow the word of God in its entirety, in its entirety. You know what I'm saying? They become more, you know, better Christians, you know, they become more in a relationship with God and being like Jesus Christ for a purpose, a sense uh, 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 the purpose of being, like I say, Genesis 1 26 being made in the image and likeness of God but that is the driven purpose of you know the ideal of of everything you know and the thing is you know it's just everything religion is oh my god everything is screwed up man and it's just so so terrible how the system is right now concerning Christianity I mean Division, you know, everybody believing in denominations that, you know, uh, you know, a division, you know, uh, like, you know, the Baptists and the Met and the Pentecostal, you know, you know, is all this division and divided, you know, God's, you know, Jesus Christ's Christianity, which, you know, we're supposed to be all about, you know, and everybody using these, you know, titles of their churches as you know and then say they're all christianity it's ridiculous and they're teaching you know things and ideas to people and people are just like taking them and just going crazy with it but you know the thing is but i'm trying to help you to realize the truth of christianity you know and and how you're supposed to see it better so you can execute it better like in anything you do in playing sports, playing, doing anything in life, you if you execute it right, you get a right result out of it. And 
that's what you know I'm all about trying to help you see things right so you can do things right you know and that's how you can only do things right if you want to truly be a Christian but we're supposed to as who everybody's supposed to share the word of God everybody's supposed to talk about it I mean they can talk about share negative stuff why you won't share positive stuff It's that simple you know and there should be no excuse for anybody not to talk about the word of God you know and share the word of God you know because you know it's funny I try to fellowship with you know sinners and stuff well the word of God they feel like you know oh you're trying to be better than me you know more word of God than me I know more than you you know it's this contest and stuff like this no no I'm trying to share the word of God and trying to help everybody see the light of the truth you know it's nobody being better than nobody it's to helping people to realize the truth of the word of God to you know know what it's all about you know what I'm saying it's like for instance it's like you know taking a book a regular book a story book you know a book of let's say a book Charlotte's Web you know what I'm saying and we read you know everybody know most people know Charlotte's Web about the spider that used to, you know, put signs, you know, for the pig to help, you know, the pig to not, you know, get become bacon, you know. And it's like, you know, me saying, you know, uh, 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 we talk about that book, you know, and it's like me saying, you know, well, you know, I think, you know, uh, the pig, you know, became bacon, you know, at the end of the book. It's like, no, 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 that's not... What happened, you know, the pig, you know, at the end of the book, you know, the, the, the spider died and, you know, put an egg, you know, and, you know, it's just like arguing over something, you know, uh, that everybody read about and it's just ridiculous, you know. Every, if you read the book and understand the book and what it's all about and you want to talk about the book and talk about how much you like the book and, you know, I like the story of the book. It, you know, we should come into a full agreement. We shouldn't be arguing over, you know, what the book is saying, what, you know, what's in the book. Same thing with the Bible, you know. We're not supposed to be arguing about the Bible, you know, about what's in a book. It's, what's in the book is in the book. And we're supposed to be trying to get more meaning and understanding out of the book that we can become better Christians and represent the person in the book, you know concerning being a Christian, representing Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about, learning how to do that. That's what basically Christianity is all about. It's that simple, learning to be like Jesus and learning how to see Jesus in a proper perspective and where we're at so we can be more like it. You know, that's the whole idea is not to be better than somebody, never to be that, you know. It's not trying to, you know, show that you got more knowledge than another person, but it's trying to gain more understanding of who he is so we can learn how to be who he is and not trying to be better than somebody. Because, like, you know, I learned, you know, being a Christian is, is all about this simple, better system. It's just to become a better people, to show people how to be a better person, you know, and everything will be better in life because we should strive to want things to be better not get worse you know if we doing opposite of being a christian things gonna get worse it's just that simple really to me that we need to come to understand to try to be like jesus to be in the image in the likeness of god that what we were created to be in the first place but religion is is going to get you worse you know i'm sorry it's I, I know a lot of people y'all are in have a religious you know background and still in a religious background i'm sorry it's not going to get you better it's going to get you worse it's going to get you worse it's 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 going that's what it's going to do because it's based upon division it's not really based upon being like christ it's the based upon dividing and thinking that you're supposed to be better than everybody concerning your church or concerning your it's a ridiculous, you know. It's one thing. It's one body, one faith, one baptism, one spirit, one, 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 one. In the word of God, for real though, 
That's what's so aggravating me about me ministering this message. It's in the Word. Everything is in the Word, you know. It's just Satan has distorted people big time, you know. And the thing is, the focal point is being a Christian, being like Christ, that we can be in, made in the image and the likeness of God, that we can give people the light, shine the light in the darkness, that the world can be a better place. That's it. And we can reflect our creator more and fulfill our creative purpose in life. That's what it's all about, y'all, okay? All right, that's the message. I'm done babbling about, you know. No, I'm not bad. I'm keeping Israel, you know, always and giving you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God and he will help me to do that. All right, to God be the glory to him forever, ever. Jesus' name, amen.